Fiberglass Hawaii Pro Shaper Square has some brand new features. We've added both imperial and metric measurements to the layout square. We've also added an additional 8th inch measuring increment, so now your shape will be more dialed in than before. The 1 inch measurement still measures from left to right, meaning that from the 1 on the left to the 1 on the right is a total of 1 inch. From the 2 on the left to the 2 on the right is a total of 2 inches, and so on and so forth. If you spin the layout square around, on the other side is centimeters. The centimeters measure from the center out, meaning that from the center to the one on the right is one centimeter. From the center to the one on the left is one centimeter as well. So from the one on the left to the one on the right is a total of two centimeters. We've also added centimeters to our fin marking tool as well. So now you can mark your fins in either inches or centimeters. There's also an area where you can mark down your magic measurements or a customer's phone number right onto the layout square using a dry erase marker. Outline. Marking the outline is very simple with the layout square. You start by squaring off the tail, which is going to be your cut line, travel up 12 inches, and we're going to mark this tail width at 14 inches wide. So we make a mark on the 14 on the right, draw our line to the stringer, now we go to the left side and travel out to the 14 on the left, make the mark there, line to the stringer, and that gives us a total width of 14 inches. Travel up to the center to do our center width. Line up on our mark and we travel out to 18 and 1 8 inch. We make our mark right there. Do our line to the stringer, travel out to 18 and 1 8 on the left side, make our line to the stringer, and now we have a total of 18 and 1 8 inches. That line gives us a reference point when we draw our outline. Now we go up to the nose, square off the nose, which will be our cut line, travel up 12 inches, out to the 12, make our line. Out to the 12 on the left, make our other line, and now we have a 12 inch wide nose. It was that simple. We now have our reference points to draw our outline. Fin marking. So we're going to go ahead and mark a thruster set here. We're going to go ahead and line up at three and a quarter inches off the tail line it up right on the edge of the tail, travel up, make our mark with a pencil, then from that mark we're going to slide up to the 4 inch mark and we're going to mark the front of the rear fin. That will give the glasser a reference point when he's routing the box or setting the fin. Obviously this board isn't shaped, but it's the same process of what you would do on a completed board. We're going to mark our side fins at 11 and 1 quarter inch off the tail. So we put the 11 and 1 quarter inch mark on the edge of the tail and travel up and make our fin mark right there. Now we're going to slide the layout square up and there's our mark going to line that up on the target, which is just that light gray line that you see right there that leads out to the fin marking tool. So we're going to go ahead and center that on the stringer, make sure we're nice and straight with the stringer. We're going to travel out to the right and we're going to put the zero mark on the edge of the rail. But before we mark our fin, we're going to make sure we're straight along the stringer. It looks like we got a little bit crooked. That's what these reference lines are there for. They're to help keep us straight when we're marking our fins. These lines help at most widths, so that's why there's so many of them. It just gives you a reference point to line up off of. So now we're nice and squared. So we're going to travel from the zero. We're going to bring it into one inch. 
And we're gonna travel up to the correlating one inch mark on the four inch fin marking tool. We're gonna tow it in one quarter of an inch and that's it, it's that simple. We're just gonna go ahead and make our line for the glasser and move on to the left side. So we have it on the rail at zero. We're lined up along the stringer. So we're gonna go ahead and mark this at one inch off the rail as well. Make our mark, travel up to the correlating one, bring it in a quarter of an inch towards the nose, make our mark right there, and we have that fin marked. Just make the line and that's all it takes. The Pro Shaper Square is great because it includes imperial and metric measurements, has a fin marking tool, it saves time and increases accuracy.